19, there you go. Thank you. All right. So you're thinking 15 for that? Right, hold on one second. I'm sorry, you go right ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, no. mm -hmm. Some stuff we can't show because it's got nudity in it. Let's put it that way. Let's be straight up. There were naked ladies at the flea market. <gasps> oh my. Oh my. Yeah. Wow. Up there? Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> it is uh, way too early, mm. but we're going again to the Berea Indoor Flea Market. They have it once a month. Um, this is the January 2023 yeah. first flea of the year for During us. the winter time, yeah. yeah. And then out in the summertime outside and in the springtime, it's like almost every single weekend. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to see what we can find because... That's what we do. It's what we do. We look for <laughs> treasures and stuff. So, and we're actually going to film your haul this time. But when we film stuff in December, we forgot some video. Yeah. Busy. And we forgot about the video entirely. <laughs> so we apologize profusely for you not seeing my <laughs> my menial haul. I didn't really get that much anyway. It so. was a box of I paper stuff. Yeah, I really didn't get much. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's still, I have to go through all that stuff. I forgot all about So maybe that. you could video it later. Maybe I'll find more boxes of paper today. Who knows? All right. Well, let's see what we find. Today. Today. This morning. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Old books and stuff. Oh, Bibles are right off the bat. Yeah. I don't know what they want for them. I like that video sign. Look at that. Home movie rental. Oh, that is a cool sign. I wish I had money to buy that. <laughs> Guys, I don't have any money. That's a German one. German Bible. How much are the Bible books? Yeah. How much are the Bibles? Anywhere between eight and twenty-five. Just for that side. Hundred. Really? We don't have room for that. Figure that is out. cool though. I was going to box it and wind it all along. Oh, that would be cool. But I figured she and I'm getting rid of all the movies. <laughs> How the hell do I get that? I still don't have my truck. I, I, yeah, I, well, I load it in the back of my pickup truck. It fits right in the back of the super truck. And that wouldn't fit in your car, huh? You'd have to like tie it to the roof or something. How much is the Barbie stuff? The clothes for that box, it's going to be like $40. That's all a lot of that for vintage. Mm. And then I got barbed cases at your feet. Vintage cases at your feet. Yeah. How much, 40 40 for the box, you said? Yeah. That's a bunch of, oh, it's like all that little stuff. Yeah, some of it's like the Hong Kong stuff, like knockoff. 1980s. Or come back and um, yeah. I'm thinking on it. I'm just seeing if there's anything in here worth 40. Yeah, I can't do it. A lot of it's like $10 stuff. Too new. Too bad. other dude stuff was a little too spendy. Well, did you want to even try to negotiate? For the sign? No, for the Barbie clothes. No, because a lot of it is stuff that's like five and ten dollar stuff, right. and it's pieces and parts. And to me, it's not worth it. Right. Not, not even, but not even I mean, trying. If, if some of those pieces were like a dollar or two, I would. Yeah. Well, we just yeah, the box. Well, like, we, mm -hmm. well, we just got here, so you know yeah. you're gonna find that same box somewhere for a dollar. You know we will. Not a big deal. Some of that stuff I find at the thrift store cheap. Right. That's the whole game. You can't buy it for that much. Your only other option is if you find nothing all day and that's still there and maybe. <laughs> uh oh. 
Yeah, he's always got good jumps. Or you sometimes, huh? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh. Old pictures. Yay. What's up, guys? Store. Good morning. I want them. Those are uh, military, those are. That's why I don't want to hold this. I can't look at him. That's all right. All right. Well, either that or here. You can stay. I just need some where to look. Some old magazines. Yeah, I know. Here, you want to look through that box? No. There's a Ganesh in a box. He's cute. I don't think I need What's him. What's this? Is that a sharpening stone? I think it's stone? a knife sharpener. Yeah. yeah. One of those that has jewelry on it somewhere. Uh-huh. The Righteous Brother. A little Halloween. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mario Kart. What did I set down? I don't know. Oh, that stone. Oh, my coffee. No, my coffee. Oh, your coffee. <laughs> I'm like, I know I set something down. Boy thing. Scout thing, or could be a yeah, college. Yeah. I think it's a college thing. Harmonica, dragon yeah. harmonica, made in Japan. Mm. That's kind of fun. Nothing in there. Chestnut critter. Yeah. Why is it a critter? Slits chestnuts. Oh, it is a break. Oh, yeah. it breaks your nuts. Well. <laughs> I got, I'm already married. I thought wives did that. <laughs> <laughs> Miko, it's a toy Miko car. Well, that's good. It's missing the little tires. Mm, so what, someone might want it for parts or restoration. I mean, if it's cheap enough. Yeah. Uh, <gasps> I want hot stuff. Okay. <laughs> for Grimm's jacket. Okay. Is there another one? You could have one too. Those are cute. They're really cute. <laughs> So we can see that hot stuff is that little double the from, little double guy? from Harvey Comics. Yeah, it wasn't Rich, a cartoon. With Richie Rich and little Lulu, yeah. Harvey. Tunes. That's fun. So I don't know whose stuff this is, but there's a bunch of cool pins to look through. There's some big pins there. Maybe I could find something interesting. A Santa pin. A bicycle. Pumpkin's really cool. And Funko Pops. Oh, he's cool. Is that one a calendar there? Yeah, I got it. Cool. Ah. <laughs> she looks like Granny from uh, what's that I show? I love it. That's really That's cute. Really cute too. Hmm. Hmm. This stuff's great. Oh my god. How can I get all of them? It's got a, what do you think about that one? Big crease in it. Oh, it's so cool. Back in time. Just give me 10 bucks and take them all. The calendar, the pictures. Okay, cool. so I owe you 11 then so far for the TV oh, guy. Said, oh, yeah, well, for the TV, TV guy. guy. Yep, so it's 11. I'm still looking. I love papers. So. Cool. What about these little books? What are these? They're cool. Did you see a shirt? 
Yeah, I just felt like a dollar. <laughs> cool shirt. Oh, yeah. Like so, uh, that is cool. So That's a classic movie. Love it. That, it's fun. Every time I watch it, I'm like, this is the <laughs> original funny, like, messed up board line. It is. It it's is. great. I think that's where that movie It came from, you know? Stephen King? Yeah. yeah. Maybe, yeah. That's, that's another movie, but there's not many. You, if you like the playbills, you can, I'll give you that stack for two dollars. Do you want playbills? Those are these work from Cleveland? Um, I'm good on that stuff. Some things, some things have some fun ads in old places that aren't around anymore. That's okay. Yeah, I think I've... This is probably going to be so it's not how much this stuff does. You think wow. it's up there? Oh, I'm sure. <gasps> Ooh, Ultraman. Space Evil Robot. 45 for the Ultraman bag. How much for Frankenstein? I'm asking 110. That's a universal. Universal. Yeah, universal made in Japan. Hey, check them out. Yeah, check them out. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. It's really cool. Oh. It's a nice piece. Wow. He's got the key in Look there. Look at his them. hands. I know, I've never <laughs> seen that before. That's, I mean, that's Boris Karloff. Look at the face. That's it's yeah. Boris's yeah. head. Yeah. I'm, like a, I'm like a toy robot body. It's hilarious. Yeah. It's cool stuff. I've never seen that. That's pretty neat. They came out in 91. Yeah. But they were 30 years ago. Nice. Uh, I've never seen that. And then I'm getting the Ultraman. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. made by Armin out of Japan. Check him out. He's mint. It slides out. Check out. Can you pull him out? If you're an Ultraman mm -hmm. fan from the 60s as a kid like I was, that was that was the show. Because they got like 30 different Ultraman. They remade it so many times. Yeah. yeah we just watched some newer ones uh, on, you know, was it YouTube or Tubi or something? Tubi has them, yeah. And, uh, the ones from the 70s. Yeah. And he's got just the key in the box. I'm asking 90 for him. He's cool. 90? Yeah. I, I mean, if you go online, if you can find them. Yeah, if you can find them. You know, cool. especially... You get to hold it here. Yeah. You don't have to order it and wonder, well, geez, I hope the box isn't scuffed up or you scratch. You're right, because because it's usually people from Japan that just have these. Yeah. yeah. If you take it off, take them out of the plastic. It's pristine. Nice. Yeah. That's, I don't want to mess up the box. I'll I put know, them back. Like yeah. Handle with care. <laughs> That's some sweet stuff. That Frankenstein, though. That's cool. We're gonna think on those. If you want to put together a package, I'm here. All right. Yeah. 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 yeah think about it. how much. What about this evil space evil robot? 175. I gotta find my fan. Is he anus? TV robot. Probably. That's a Horikawa robot. I like the TV. Yeah, probably. It looks like late 80s, probably. Those are so cute. This is a Osaka tin toy. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Got all the, real stuff here. the real deal. Oh, he's, all, all oh, red. he's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, red. This came sharp. out of my private collection. It's sharp. It's time to downsize. Oh, okay. I, I, we have a lot of downsizing to do with Yeah. <laughs> he, he opens up, shoots a machine gun, his top spins around. It's awesome. That's cool. Mm -hmm. and here's the uh, original paperwork in Japanese, in mm -hmm. case you want to know how to put the batteries in. <laughs> Perfect. In Nihongo. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I, there's no kanji. There's yeah. no barcode on it. So huh. I'm It was probably it, before barcodes. It was before it was in the early, late 70s, early 80s. Mm -hmm. Barcodes yeah. are early 80s, I think. But yeah. The, the box is in mint shape. Yeah. It's, it's bowed out a little bit on the sides, but mm -hmm. that's because it stood for a long time. Yeah. It's sharp. Yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. And that's a metal house, and that place is spacing on his chest. Yeah. Aww. Now the box has got some scuffs, but the robot is pristine. And when he walks, he'll stop and play a spacing on his chest, and then Aww. when he starts walking again, the spacing goes away. He's got like rockets and comets and stuff. Yeah, a little He's hard, really yeah. cute. Same with the Lambda robot. The thing about the Lambda robot, the robot is perfect, but the box has the tear in the center. That's it. Mm. But for 120 bucks, you can't find a Lambda robot made in Japan by Horikawa for that. Wow. Kind of Gumby. <laughs> Gumby. And trucks. And more jewelry for me to look through. <laughs> Yay, jewelry! Woohoo! Grove City, PA. That's like a little clip. A shoe clip. 
Ron. <laughs> that was Ron's bracelet. Hey, where's my bracelet at there? I'm gonna look, excuse me. Is that a fraternity? 2016 hog. It must oh, might be, maybe like a biker thing, yeah. yeah That's military Insignia. something or other. Junior ROTC? Yeah. JROTC? Yeah. However you say it. Old stickers? Cobra. For CB radios. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm looking at that book in the corner. Oh man, I have to get dogs. All right. I was right. All men are dogs. Is that what it's like? Yeah, grab it. Little By thing. Dorothy Bond, America's number one woman cartoonist. Uh oh. Oh, that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I wonder what they want for the book. We'll ask them. That's what they're there for. I just want to see what year it's from. Probably 1957. 1950, yeah. Dang it. That's cute. Close. It's really neat. Smell it. it. Smells like old paper. That's good. Well, that's not bad, right? Mm -hmm. This is probably mildew. I want to see this thing, but I can't do anything because I have hands full. There we go. Thank you. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. 1934. That was wow. the year. That was the year. No, I don't. I wasn't around then. <laughs> Not that I know of anyway. I mean, maybe in a past life. So. I really need to get rid of this cat. You do. Do they have a trash can somewhere? How's it going? Hey, what were you guys asking on the book? Buy the buy that out here. Okay. Right, I got my there you go. Thank you. All right. So you're thinking 15 for that? Right, hold on one second. I'm sorry. You go right ahead. I'm sorry. I don't know where I'm at here. Okay. Right so now go ahead. Where are we going? What are we doing? Five for the autograph. Yeah. This thing. I was thinking. You said five for that. So. We're 15 for what? What did you for want? everything? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Fine. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Probably. That'll be for our collection. You know when I, I saw the chin and I'm like, is that? I'm surprised you didn't see that. What Fanny? the heck? Well, you guys are, there was you guys a bunch of stuff on it. I know. I'm trying to focus a little bit. There's a lot of things here and sometimes we don't see everything right away. Yeah. All right. You got to stay focused. I know. Working on it. Yeah. I have the tiger. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Just be careful. It's ripped. Yeah. Barbie? Oh, that's cute. A Marvel Barbie comic. It's wow. been up though. Wow. Oh. That's the gem car. Gem? Yeah, gem and the holograms. This is her car. It says Hasbro on there. It's missing pieces. Yeah, it's missing a few pieces. So I think we found some good things and we're actually going to record the haul video as soon as we get back. Absolutely. No dilly dally in here. It's not about dilly dally, we, we, we would dilly dally, but what we would do is like, you don't, why wait to list this stuff? You want to list it that day usually. Yeah. And you do that. And we would get excited and list the, the items. In bins and it's like, you have to go pull it out to show. Yeah. To, to we'll show it first and first. then we'll list it. And then we go and list it. But yeah, a lot of interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. Some stuff we can't show because it's got nudity in it. Let's put it that way. Let's be straight up. There were naked ladies at the flea market. <gasps> oh my. Oh my. Yeah. He found um, a pinup calendar with naked ladies. Probably 50s, 1950s. It's really cute. It's it's, it's like cheesecake. It's, for nothing. It's almost. what um, they would refer to as the nudie cuties. Yeah. So it's actually really tame compared to... Um, adult content that people see today. We found so much cool stuff today, I think. Yeah. I'm, I'm stoked. And something that's very specific and to, to, to us as like we're doing the horror host stuff. Yeah. And even just as a growing up as a kid, some movie hosts that we had in Cleveland, that it's always fun to find stuff, especially vintage stuff, uh, which is very difficult to find. Yeah, the it vintage and the, the antiques, there's certain things that we look for. Um, yeah. 
I found a bunch of little stuff that I think could be good. And when you're shopping in this kind of setting, we don't have time to look everything up on our phones. No. If you get it for a good price and you have a hunch, just grab it, yeah. research it later. Worst case scenario, you make your money back or you donate it and you learn a valuable lesson. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it, today was a good haul. Mm -hmm. As opposed to last time I went, um, I didn't really find anything that I, that's why I didn't do the haul because it was really nothing for me to show. That I thought was you just bought like some work. paper stuff. I bought a, a box of paper stuff and some TV guides and things like that. But yeah, but nothing or a couple of DVDs that were sealed, but nothing like hey, look what I found. Right. But there's a lot of hey, look what I found. I think today. So yeah. So I'm super happy. Stay tuned. You're gonna see the hey, look what we found. Hey now, the huge a haul coming right up. Naked ladies. Hold on. <laughs> All right, gang, so I think I spent maybe around 40 total. Um, I don't think I spent that much. Um, I got some neat things. These books I got for $5 each. Um, Dorothy Bond, All Men Are Dogs, America's Number One Woman Cartoonist. It's from 1950 and really cool looking artwork. Um, that's something for me to enjoy and read. I don't know if I will sell that, but it definitely looks cool. Um, okay, this book I got for $5, and it's from the early 1900s, and it has this weird thing like the sick raise the dead, cleanse the lepers. It's something about health and scriptures. It looks really unique. Um, I paid up. I paid five for this little book just because it looked so unusual, and usually unusual is good for eBay, um, so I'm going to research that. Um, okay, this is a harmonica, dragon harmonica. It's Japan. It's like a little 1950s, you know, knockoff thing. This is made by Mego. It looks like it's part of some car playset. The car is missing some tires, but I don't know. I grabbed it. Some little devil pins uh, James grabbed and added it to my pile. Those are cute. Handcrafted coal, a little vintage owl. It looks like it's from the 70s, just a little owly. Um, Knick-knack made out of a lump of coal. That's kind of cool. Um, this I grabbed from uh, one dude that has a lot of antiques. It looks like to me like it might be an antique business card holder. Um, I don't know if that's silver plate or silver on the ends, but it's rounded. It kind of has a, a cool like antique look. So I grabbed that. Here's a fish bottle opener marked Boma, B-O-M-A. Canada, so I don't know if that's a thing, but it's just really unique. There's a blue flame log lighter key for like a fireplace or something. Miscellaneous um, jewelry, there's like, um, you know, a rosary there. These little pins and stuff I have to research, little buttons. Some unique looking things that I got for cheap. I think I paid 10 for those guys. A tiny, tiny Bible. I've never seen a book that small, and that would be very difficult to read. It looked really unusual. Maybe it was on a keychain or something, so I, I bought that. I don't know if it's anything, but a patch. I don't know what this patch is, but hey, old patches. Um, this is a Trifari bracelet. It is beat to crap. The gold plating is, like, coming off. But I think I can lot it up with some other Trifari jewelry pieces. This is a vintage ornament made in Japan, a little birdie. You would clip it onto your tree. Super cute. This is all a tangled up hot mess. But it is pretty old. It's marked Germany. It's a big crucifix rosary thing. Um, some of the vintage religious stuff I, I sell on my eBay store. Um, but these photos are really cool. I think this is probably one of the better things I found. These are like military, like army pictures of uh, some dudes that I think were in Korea in the 50s. There's a guy dancing with an Asian lady there. There's a band playing. It looks like they had some fun. Some army dudes together. Um, really cool photos. So um, the photos I, I paid, I think, five for, five or ten. Some pretty uh, ladies there. Um, so yeah, these are cool. I, I'm, I like old photos, so does James. So those are my flea market finds. I'm going to clear off this space so he can show off his goodies. That's all you got? That's all I got. Yeah, I think that's all I bought. I didn't, I didn't spend as much or uh, find as many things. Oh, Polaroids. 
Ooh, what's on the Polaroids? Well, there's uh, Aunt Gertrude, and uh, there's Uncle Bob there, and the there's cousin, um, you know, uh, Sarah, and oh, you know, the kids. There's um, the kids. I don't know whose kids, but there's some kids. You know, there's there's a family Christmas picture there. <laughs> Someone likes the Steelers. He's got the Steelers jersey. And, uh, you know, there's great uh, Graham Pops with um, little um, Ethel. Yeah, there's Ethel. I, I don't know. I'm making these up, guys. I'm just having fun. Oh, there's Ethel again with Graham Pops. And, oh, there's a little boy with, like, oh, he's got, like, a laser gun and a football helmet. And it looks very 1950s and cute. Um, oh, there's some more retro photos. Looks like some school photos of uh, those dudes. There's another army dude there. But um, yeah, there's more more pictures of more army dudes. This is probably Korea, right? Probably Korean. Um, there's a picture of someone's bathroom. Okay. They were very proud of their bathroom. There's another dude. And let's see, any writing on the back of these? Oh, there's writing. I received a three-day pass in this outstanding soldier in rank Some, uh, inspection. My platoon sergeant and he had to get this one. Oh, okay. There's um, some buddies there, some army buddies. That's a cool picture. Nothing on the back of it. I think that's that same dude that was in the other photo. And there's some buddies. Looks like they're hanging out, getting drinks. Another dude. Oh, this is fun. Oh, he's look at those glasses. He's got some cool sunglasses there. Those guys are going to play tennis. Yeah, these look like 1950s. So if I had to guess, probably Korea. Oh, that one's marked August of 56, and he's got like a sailor outfit on. Look at that car. Wow. That's a fun car. Ed, this was when he was home on leave, the first two weeks in August. Oh, well, there's there's Ed. Now we know who that is that's Ed. Cool. Little pieces of history here, guys. Little pieces of history. Cool. All right. So there's my haul. And uh, coming up next is James. But wait, there's more. I forgot to show you. I grabbed five of these vintage Barbie and the Rockers t-shirts. They're like little kid sizes, like girl size. Um, back from the 80s when Barbie and the Rockers was a thing. It says made in USA. You don't see that very often on clothes anymore. Uh, size 14 to 16. So probably a size large in girls. Um, but these are just so cute. They're in good condition for their age. I thought maybe someone who's a Barbie doll collector might want to buy that for their kiddo who also might like Barbie. So yeah, I've got five of those. Um, I paid 20 for all five. So cool. That's the last of it. Okay, everybody. It's uh, James here. Uh, going to go over my A haul and the A stands for awesome. First flea market finds of 2023. And, um, yeah, I picked up a little bit more uh, than Janet did this time around. And it doesn't really matter. Uh, we just sort of get what we like and cross our fingers, hope for the best, and try to base our purchases on what we think will sell, obviously. And some stuff uh, I got for me. So, anyway, let's start with this little peanut. I guess that's what this is. It's a little porcelain, whatever, ceramic little made in Japan tchotchke. Not a salt shaker, not a pepper shaker, nothing like that. Just a little knickknack. Kind of cute. Um, I picked that up for a little bit. I paid 15 bucks for that and a few other things. It just doesn't really matter what I bought all together. But uh, anyway, um, these TV guides are interesting. Um, they're not old, but someone took care to shrink wrap them all for some reason, uh, either to protect them, collect them, I don't know. But um, yeah, they're from the 90s and the late 90s and 2000s. But here's the cool thing about, I usually buy like older TV guides, like from the like 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, but I think if you can get them from any time period, because I don't even know if they still make them as much as they do now, they're, if they're in print or not. But anything um, old, you know, or, or, you know, over the last 30, 40 years are interesting because why? Well, 
Since everything's pretty much on YouTube or somewhere online, you can skim through these, even the ones from the 90s and 2000s, and find like weird movies and specials and shows that were on. And nine times out of 10, they, they do pop up on YouTube. I mean, people have taken a lot of time to archive this stuff on videotape in the past. And uh, if they can put it up on YouTube, or even if it's on a legit site uh, that has uh, their own streaming, you know, like HBO or Disney or whoever, um, there's like literally tens of thousands of movies and entertainment, uh, you know, programs that have been made over the years, over the decades. So, um, and it's impossible to remember all of them uh, and or know that any of them are even around. So what you can do is go through these TV guides and find... This is a bad example because this is probably a newer one and they really sucked at putting anything cool in there. But here's one from 1999. And um, like here's some Stephen King stuff. Storm of the Century, like, you know. Uh, True Tales from the White House, Discovery Channel. And so it's just fun to, to, you know, be able to look through these and find things that you may have forgotten or never knew existed and want to check them out. So they're still sort of relevant in that way that you can, uh, they actually provide uh, an index to entertainment. So if you're interested, and some these are the best ones. If you ever get TV Guide, the fall previews, no matter what year they are, these are fun because they have all of the new shows coming out uh, for that season. And uh, the reason why, I, I got all these actually for $10, which is a really good deal. Um, here's a China, the, the, Rex, the wrestler, uh, late wrestler China, and uh, saw this X-Files one that I have. Janet and I are big fans of uh, X-Files, and that was a kind of a cool cover. That's a late 90s, 197 as well. So anyway, yeah, I got all these for these two stacks for 10 bucks. Not too bad. All right, moving on to the other items. Um, got these Harley Davidson Carnival mirrors. Remember these? Anyone old enough to remember the Carnival mirrors? And they might even still give out prizes like this there. I have no idea. That one has the Harley Davidson's license. I see uh, um, logo on the bottom there. And, uh, yeah, these are kind of fun. These are, these, I would guess these are probably eighties. Um, if I was to guess, um, I'd like to be able to find out exactly when these were put out. I don't know if this one has the, the thing on it or not, but anyway, those are kind of neat. Those could sell for, okay. I think I got these both for like, um, $7 or something or five, four bucks. I forget, but, uh, got those here is an autograph. From Sonny uh, Jurgensen, I believe, or Jorgensen. Anyway, uh, he was a, um, or he, I think he's still alive. He might be in his 90s, this fella, but he was a, a football player, professional football player. And um, I don't know, I picked that up for five bucks with the peanut and something else coming up uh, where I said I spent 15 bucks for everything. Autographs usually sell pretty good. And who's going to fake this guy's autograph, right? I don't have to get this authenticated. I could probably just find another one of his online and kind of eyeball it and just list it as, as not authenticated um, selling as is. And people still pick them up. I haven't had any of my autographs I've sold um, authenticated and they sell either way. All right. So there's that. And picked up a couple of Disneyland, vintage Disneyland buttons. I'm going to sell these as a pair. Um, I picked, I got them both for three all together instead of four. So, you know, I think these will sell stuff like this. I don't really have a lot of luck with Mickey Mouse stuff, believe it or not, but a, a, a pair of buttons, Minnie and Mickey might do okay. So we'll see. Um, here is a tech deck still in the package. Skateboard, those finger skateboards. This is a Zoo York brand one. And uh, it's being in the package is good. I really did pay up a buck for it. I think I could sell this for about 20 or 25 bucks um and in the package like this uh not not too bad of a score for a dollar i wish they had like more of these that would have been great find uh easy to ship obviously and easy to list cleveland is a plum that got thrown in with a, a, a thing i picked up uh and i, I might put this on uh, my character grim gory's uh, jacket because i don't think i have a cleveland's a plum um uh button for his jacket yet Here's some weird uh, or some interesting paper I picked up. This is like part of a lot I got for ten, like 14 bucks. And I'll show you. That's, that's a really cool bunch of stuff I found. These, I think, were like um, for shoe stores, I believe. Let's say on the back. Selva. Bounce size shoes. Oh, so it's for a ballet slipper supply company, you know, a store. And I've had a lot of luck selling uh, these little advertisement comic books and stuff uh, for shoe stores and that in the past. And this is for a ballerina sort of uh, store, I guess, where you got to buy ballet uh, uh, shoes and that. So that's, there's two different ones. The story of Anna Palova and the story of the ballet. So there you go. Boom. 
And this other book is just weird. Uh, Love in Sweden, Background and Reality. I have no idea what the basis of this book is, other than it being Love in Sweden. The world over people discuss love in Sweden. Here we describe how it happened and the effect it, it has had. Oh, okay, well, there you go. And there's some, like, funny little... I, this must be, like, a Swedish sort of uh, a book that you get, like, as a as a little bit of a souvenir or something for visiting Sweden or something. I don't know. I'll have to look it up to it. Or look it up and see what's going on. But that was kind of cute. Part of a bunch of stuff I got. Uh, Paper-wise. And actually, we're almost done here, believe it or not. Now, in that lot of stuff... I got with the Sweden and the ballet comic things. Where's was was all this paper? All these like posters and uh, from the fifties. I'm thinking these are definitely pretty pretty good. But uh, senior gift calendars are first in advertising value. I wonder if this is like an advert. Okay, so there are all these. So there's okay. So okay, that's cool. So yeah, these. This is a. I don't know if it's a complete calendar. But superior gift. This must be stuff that they used to show off what they could do for you in a calendar. There's actually a nude in here as well. I don't know if I could show that. Oh, there's a sort of a cheesecake one. That's kind of neat. A little water damage. Oh, there's the nude one. Can't show that. There's, so yeah, so I have some doubles of these. Oh, there's a little cheesecake. I think we could show that on the tube. Um, oh, a puppy in the paint. Yeah, these are like blanks. It looks like you could have like the months and stuff printed on the top there. But yeah, this was pretty good. And like I said, I got that whole complete, or I complete, but clipped it together batch of them. And then all these loose pieces from the calendars. And I guess they don't even have the things printed on these, like where they would have the months and dates. But unless you got this on the top and there was another page where, uh, oh, these are all numbered and sampled. Oh, 1946. Okay, wow. So pretty old. All right, pretty neat. 1950. Yeah, these are from the late 40s, early 50s. And they're all like different. There's Grandma Skate with Sonny Boy. Oh, yes. And uh, a guy, like a hunter guy in his lodge with his rifle and dogs, hunting dogs. Pretty cool. There's another puppy in peril. Want to get inside, but I don't know. Uh, there's so much of this stuff. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, he said all this for 10. And then I got the other pieces for a bucket piece. Look how pretty this is. I think I'll have a good... Good luck in selling a lot of this stuff uh, by piece. Again, for a $10 investment for all these posters, crazy good price for vintage stuff, I think, for vintage paper. Um, here's a weird little pamphlet uh, I got, I picked up. I think I paid five for this, or three. Three bucks, I think. But it's called Poor Kid Magazine. And um, the, the guy I bought it for us, he looked it up, and he thinks it's some kind of like religious cult tract. Like a, a little bit, some sort of, you know, propaganda for a cult. But I'll have to do some looking into it. And it's like, you know, they, they ask for a donation here. And almost kind of weird. But I haven't read it yet. And hopefully nobody gets all culted up looking at this video. But, you know, if you do, enjoy, I guess. Um, yeah, I can't wait to check this out. But I love little weird things like this. And if anything comes of this, I'll let you know in a future episode. All right, almost done here. This other thing I picked up, it's a toy. I've never heard of the toy company, nor have I heard of this toy. I think it's one of these things they put out when um, the G.I. Joe action figures in the 80s were popular, the three and a half or what are they, inch figures. And some c companies came out and they put out stuff that you could just use to play with those toys. Unless they had a specific action figure line that went with this. It doesn't look like it to me. But it's called a remote controlled action heroes troop in prison. It looks like I th when I looked this up really quick before I picked it up, I think they did make um, some uh, figures that went with this line, and they were about. I mean, actually, were they bigger than the GI Joes? I forget. Let me take this out of the box. I know this is annoying here, but this is what this thing looks like, and it's got a remote control, like the old gun remote control thing. Um, I didn't. I looked up. I couldn't find much on this. The toy company is called. Uh, Marshawn Incorporated, but uh, I never heard of the toy company, like I said, and um, it looks like you could fit those 80s G.I. Joes in here or any action figure that tall or Star Wars figures made in Hong Kong. Um, the stuff they had listed that exists of this toy company was pretty good prices, like in the $50 range. So this thing I couldn't find. I saw some figures, so who knows? I mean, this could be 50 bucks. I paid 10 for it. And the box is pretty beat up, but I'm, I'm going to try to get at least 50 or 60 for it. We'll see what happens. And uh, now we're on our way to have uh, a nice little 
dinner with some friends, an early dinner. Yeah, going, going to go and visit some friends and uh, call it a day or a night or whatever. But, wow. And uh, probably just uh, take it easy the rest of the weekend. And I, I, if, if, this, if this trip to the flea market is any sort of indication of what the rest of the year is going to be like with flea markets and garage sales, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to be good. There's always going to be interesting things to find. And hopefully you guys out there find cool stuff if you go out treasure hunting like we do. Mm -hmm. Alright, well stay safe everybody. If you like our video, hit the like button. We do appreciate you. Bye for now. Mwah. See you later. Woo.